Hi, this is Erica Wiggins with Wiggins Group Real Estate, and welcome to Opening Stories. I am uh, Chris Howard. I own Fankhauser Jewelry here in Sugar House. I've uh, been here since 2011. The store's been here since 1942, but I bought it in 2011. What is it that you specialize, I mean, beyond just clocks, what do you specialize in? Uh, I do watch making, clock making, and I do uh, sell vintage restored timepieces. Being here for so long, I imagine you have some clients that you've had a chance to get to know and like. Yeah. Yeah, there's not very many clock repair or watch repair in the city. So mm -hmm. we've got quite the backlog. There's only four or five of us in the whole valley. So it's good and bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so when COVID hit, was there, were you concerned about the impact that it could have on this business? Yes. Um, the, the retail side, of it, which I was worried about, but I mean, people not being able to come in and pick up repairs. Um, yeah, absolutely. Was there like a, was there a specific point in, as this all unfolded that you realized it was a big deal? Uh, probably about two weeks in. Um, I, I didn't have a single customer for two weeks. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Two weeks in. I knew it was a big deal at the beginning, but didn't know how it would affect my type of store. Mm -hmm. So when, uh, if somebody does come into the store, I, I notice that you, everyone in the store has a mask. Are there any other things that they should be aware of that you're doing to keep yourself and customers safe? Uh, just being, practice, practicing being safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, I put up a sign that please wear a mask, but you gotta do that politely. Not everybody likes it. So is there a message you'd like to put out to the community? If, if I get sick, I and my store are because I can't come in for two weeks. Um, and this is exactly how I've been telling it to everybody. Is, it's true. I mean, mm -hmm. if I get sick being a one-man operation, I'm screwed. Right. There's, there's no way that I have to quarantine at home. I can't come in here. I have to call everyone on my stupid contact list so they can begin contact tracing. I just want people to not be f***ing idiots. Right. Pretty much it. That's, so. That sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't make any money for two weeks. Um, but that is the plight of small business owners, absolutely. especially solo business owners, is that they don't have at the kind of safety net of unemployment or even, even with what attempts they've made of it. There is no sick time. Um, no. And most small businesses don't have that we found this out at the beginning of COVID. They don't, I mean, they have two weeks of spending cash in their bank account, and then after that, they're, they're, they're toast. Yes. Which is crazy. Crazy to run that, that that way, but also, I don't know. That's why I wish we would have taken it more seriously. My name is Chris Howard. I own Fankhauser Jewelry, and I am a Sugar House business. Is there a message? Oh, no, this is where you start uh, dropping like F bombs. This is where I start swearing. <laughs> uh oh, okay.